Hi guys, it's your boy Thriller here, and you can tell in the sound of my voice that I'm very annoyed right now. Um, we literally just played this game against Lulee for BBL Week 3, and this game was total bull. I'm not going to lie to you guys, this game was complete bull. And it's mostly the game's fault, not Lily. Lily actually brought a team that was completely different from when I was expecting her to bring. Expecting her to bring for against my team. Stuff that I personally didn't think was good against my team, but made sense at the same time. Like the Dunsparce Garganackle made somewhat sense against my team. Oak Overnight was a massive surprise. And, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm really just not in a good mood right now, guys. Really just not in a good mood for how this game's played out, and you're gonna find out why. And there's another reason why I'm post coming this besides the fact that I'm really ticked off this game. I also screamed in this game very loudly because I was so frustrated and I didn't feel like it was right for you guys to listen to that. But this game was so stupid. It was a dumb game. Most because of the game, not Lily. Lily even said when I told her about the team I was surprised she brought, she likes to bring these kind of unorthodox sets, these weird sets where she'll bring a Pokemon. It might not make the most sense, or it could just be some type of random bring for a specific reason. And um, that's just her strategy, and it's going to be strategies that can work or not. So let's just go ahead and just get into the battle. So I lead off with my Iron Hands here. She's just going to Volt Switch here, as I am just going to go for the Drain Punch here. I don't want the music on. So, I was Iron Defense Weakness Plus, like I said. So, she's going to go for the Play Rep here. I'm going to go for my Quiver Dance, and this is a really good position for me right here. Because now I'm just going to go for the Sleep Powder. And the first miss! First miss! First miss of the game goes to, Iron, to my Venomoth. First miss goes to my Iron Moth. You're going to find out that's a theme in this battle is that we miss. Because now that means I have to force to sack this. Sack this at this point. Protect, which, not going to lie, kind of a stupid move to put on a Pokemon like this. But now I'm just going to go for the Iron Defense right here. And just click me Drain Punch. I should have clicked Heavy Slam. I should have clicked that. Because if I had clicked Heavy Slam, that would have probably killed that thing. So I'm going to click Drain Heavy Slam this turn. It's going to Earth Power me, which reveals to be not Specs, and I did live the hit. I Drain Punch, and of course, don't get the roll and not kill this thing. So now I sack off my Iron Hand. So there's the second time I got screwed over by RNG. Now I go for Tidy Up here. And I miss a Population Bomb. The second miss. I miss a second Population Bomb. I miss a third Population Bomb in a row. That is three times. That is 90% accurate move. I should only be missing one every of out of 10 I go for. Yet I missed three for three. And at this point, I already know I lose. There's nothing I can do. Rocks will be up on my side of the field regardless. This thing probably is designed to probably 1v1 it. And there's nothing I can do. Now I can't beat it with this because my Gyarados is not a water type move. Because I didn't think she would bring Garganackle when I have a fighting type and two water types. Which, in my opinion, didn't make much sense to bring this Pokemon. But. It's just so frustrating. Because with Population Bomb, this was a Rocky Helmet set. Which was probably slightly mixed defensive, but more especially defensive. And that thing was at like 55 HP. And you see I do 7. So that told him that this was like a mixed defensive set. So it's it's just so annoying. At this point, I should have just Terra Blast. Should have Terra before doing the Soul Cure damage. Because if I, if I had just did that, I would have had some health. But no, not even a crit allows me to get any justice on this matter. And it's just so annoying. Right here, I should have doubled, possibly. But, of course, I miss! Cheeky. 
But Riley predicts the Earth Power there, so that was a really good read on her end. I'm honestly at this point not even going to try to just win this game. I'm just going to get this game done and over with just because I'm just, I'm just done with this game. It's it's a stupid game. I don't really care anymore. And she reveals to be especially defensive to Dunsparce. And uh, this game's over. And, uh, yeah. Um, I'm seriously so upset and angry about this game. Because literally every chance I had a chance to fight back in this matchup, I got screwed. The turn with Venom off. Basically, was forced to sack my Venom off. Because of a miss. The Hydro Pump chip on this Dedun Sparse could have told me a lot of things earlier on. And could have probably put it in range to where it could have been nearly to a KO. Or it would have put it in a position to where I had to go for that where she makes the prediction. I can then click another free Hydro Pump. Or I can make a prediction off of that and go from there. But no, I missed, so I now forced to make an aggressive switch just to predict. But she did make a good read on the prediction right there. Now, I could have stayed in, but that wasn't my win condition. My win condition was probably Delibod. So it outsped everything and it was scarred. But now, kind of almost looking back at it, I probably should have just sacked it at that point in time. Because regardless... I could have set up an SD, potentially, could have killed that, would have probably been that thing 1v1, would have been that, would have been that, would have been that, would have been that, would have been that and I would have won. So, looking back at it, maybe I should have not sacked my Maleficent at that point in time. But I didn't care, because I was full-on tilted, because of this stupid, stupid game. Like I said before, I'm mad at this game. I'm not mad at Lily. She said that she was going to bring an orthodox team with maybe some random sets that probably didn't make too much sense or just brought a random team. That's her strategy. I'm not mad at her for going that route because obviously it made me over-prepare for things like Gengar, Corviknight, and stuff like that, you know? So, and like, because I didn't have a water type move on my Gyarados. I didn't have a water move on my Gyarados. I didn't think I needed the water move on my Gyarados. Because of the fact that I wasn't thinking she was going to bring stuff like... I think it was also... Maybe Santa Charger was something that I was thinking that she wasn't bringing as well. Since I, again, had two water jets. But at the same time, I probably should have prepared for that. Now, again, I'm going to kick myself for not putting a water move on my Gyarados when probably I should have. If I had just done that, the Garganackle would not have been that much of a problem. I would have been able to handle the Garganackle relatively fine. Um, probably should have put a fighting type move on my mouse hold, and I could have been able to do something with that as well. But again, I didn't think Garganackle was going to come when I had three good answers to it, and her counter to those three answers really wasn't existent because she didn't have an electric type on her team. But when she did, it was one that was weak to ground and was going to switch in on them. So, I don't know. The team she brought was half weak to water, so I don't know why she brought it, but it's what it is. I'm just so mad and tilted about this game just because the RNG in this game was absolute bull. And uh, you know it's the game we play, man. I'm just very frustrated. This is how it lo this is how we lose a week 3 game and now we are having to really win out games now. We got to start winning with some big differential because now we are I think minus 7. I think we're like what minus 9 or 10 in differential now, I think, which is so stupid. We have a good team. We do. It's just that stuff like this happens in a match, and it just completely ruins your chances, man. But I'm just going to stop being angry about it. I'm going to do my best to just calm down and just smooth past this match. we got other games we got to play this week as well for other leagues, so I want to try to make sure I'm ready for those. Calm. But, man, I would not lie if I said this match would really irritate the hell out of me. But... That's going to be the game, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video for some reason, go ahead and leave a like if you haven't already. Please do consider subscribing because I'm not always this angry about losing a game. It's just how Pokemon gets to you sometimes, and that's just how I felt at the current moment. So, Like I said, there was no bad feelings towards Lily. She brought the team that she thought that she knew she could win with, and obviously the team paid off for her, and she picked up a big victory. So GG's to Lily. She definitely deserved the win because she played really well. But, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys for the next battle we do, which is, God knows, I don't know what. But, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.